Hi friends, this is the reading lesson for second grade. You need your booklets open to page 30 and you need a pencil and a highlighter. Today and tomorrow's reading lessons are going to be a little different than what we've seen before. If you look on page 30, this page, these two pages look a little different than normal. It kind of, if you look at the top, it says Surf Haven Time, September 21st, and there's a title. Now you would think that this would be an informational science text, right? But if you look in the upper right hand corner, this is actually a news article. So yes, it is an informational science text because it is talking about something that did happen, but it's in the form of a news article. Now I'm not totally sure if this is actually a real story, but I can almost guarantee that this has happened before after hurricane. So this type of meeting that we're going to read about. So we are going to write a few main ideas and then we're going to do some extra highlighting today, um, discussing the different points of view and opinions from certain people in this community. And then tomorrow, we will focus on the opinions specifically. So if you are ready, let's go ahead and get started. Extended Read 2. Remember to annotate as you read. Surf Haven Times, September 21st. Surf Haven Debates Its Future by Jay Forte. When Hurricane Stanley hit land last week, the small town of Surf Haven took a pounding. Stanley's powerful winds ripped up the historic boardwalk. High waves flooded the seashore shops. The famous Ferris wheel was broken. The popular arcade collapsed. The town has been cleaning up for days. Surf Haven's Boardwalk after Hurricane Stanley. All right, so let's go ahead and look at um, that first paragraph. There was some big information in there to kind of let us know what's been going on. So it says that Hurricane, we know where this is all from Hurricane Stanley. So I'm just going to highlight that. And we know that Stanley's powerful winds ripped up the historic boardwalk. High waves flooded the seashore shops, and the Ferris wheel was broken. Popular arcade collapsed, and now the town has been cleaning up for two days. So go ahead and make sure you have all of that highlighted. Remember, sometimes we highlight a lot, and other times we don't highlight very much. All right. When you are ready, we will keep going. Last night, Surf Haven's mayor, Jan Brill, held a meeting about the boardwalk's future. 200 town residents came to the meeting. Town councilman, Matt Fenton, gave a damage report. 40 businesses were destroyed, he said. 20 others were badly flooded. The town has lost 300 jobs. We need $50 million to repair all the damage. So go ahead and take a minute to highlight what you find to be important in that paragraph. We know that the mayor um, held a meeting about the boardwalk's future, right? We know that 200 residents came, so a lot of the people came, and we get a little um, damage report from a councilman. So we can highlight that. It says 40 businesses were destroyed, 20 others were badly flooded, the town has lost 300 jobs and we need $50 million 
to repair the damage. Whew. All right. Now moving on, let's see what Mayor Jan Brill has to say. Mayor Jan Brill said the town should rebuild the boardwalk. Our future is at stake. Visitors come here every summer. They spend millions of dollars. If we don't rebuild, they won't come. They will go to other towns. They will enjoy other beaches. Our town depends on the visitors. They shop at our stores. They dine in our restaurants. They stay in our hotels. They support our businesses. They come to see our historic boardwalk. So we know that the mayor, her point of view is that she wants to rebuild the boardwalk. She thinks that it, ugh, she thinks that it is super important for their town, right? And she thinks it's important because visitors come here every summer. They spend millions of dollars. And if they don't rebuild, they won't come. They'll go to other towns, enjoy under other beaches. So that is a big part of why they need to rebuild. It says, she says, our town depends on the visitors. They shop at our stores, they dine in our restaurants, they stay in our hotels, they come to see our historic board walk, right? So they support our businesses, they come to see our uh, historic boardwalk. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to stop highlighting for a minute and we're actually going to write a main idea just from what we learned. And then the next couple pages are going to, we're going to learn some more opinions about what people think that we should do, they should do. Okay, so grab your pencil. We're gonna write on page 206. So we learned in paragraph one that Hurricane Stanley seriously damaged the town of, did you say Surf Haven? And then we learned that the repairs will cost $50 million, right? And this main idea is a little bit differently. It's almost like a little summary of this part. So we know that Hurricane Stanley seriously damaged the town of, not on, sorry, Surf Haven. The repairs will cost $50 million. The town is getting together to decide what they ah, should do. Okay, so that is kind of like our little summary. So go ahead, take a minute, finish writing that. All right, so now let's turn the page. So we learned about what Mayor Jan Brill said. She wants to rebuild 100%, right? 
Now, we're going to read about a few other people and their points of view. Here, we are going to um, just be highlighting each person's different opinion. Okay? All right, let's go. Matt Fenton agreed. We can do this, he told the large audience at the meeting. Remember Hurricane Nancy 30 years ago? We rebuilt then. We can do it again. We must do it. We need to keep our town alive. All right, so Matt Fenton is with Mayor Jan Brill. He agrees and says, we can do this. We need to keep, it says we must do it. We need to keep our town alive. All right. So now let's move on. We're going to learn about what Dr. K. Smith has to say. Dr. K. Smith from the Climate Study Group disagreed. Ocean levels are rising. Weather patterns are changing. Scientists know that there will be more bad storms in the future. Rebuilding the boardwalk is a waste of money. We should learn our lesson from Stanley. We should turn the boardwalk into a nature preserve. The nature preserve in Ocean View attracts 5,000 visitors a year. So could ours. Nature preserve in Ocean View, New Jersey. So what this doctor is saying, she's from a climate study group where they study weather and the climate, is she's saying that there's going to continue to be more bad storms because the weather patterns are changing and the ocean levels are rising. Rebuilding the boardwalk is a waste of money and they should learn their lesson. And her suggestion is to turn it into a nature preserve. And they give an example of this nature preserve in Ocean View attracts 5,000 videos per year. And that's the picture. So it's a beautiful place that you can go and you can look, and but not necessarily a boardwalk specifically. So let's highlight Dr. K. Smith from the Climate Study Group disagreed. And she says rebuilding the boardwalk is a waste of money. We should turn the boardwalk into a nature preserve. And she thinks it's a waste of money because scientists know that there will be more bad storms in the future. All right, let's now we're going to read about a local weather expert. Let's see what he has to say. Local weather expert Tom Lee agreed. The ocean level is three inches higher than it was when Hurricane Nancy hit us. The National Weather Panel says that in 10 years, the water could rise two more inches. That means we will have even worse flooding during storms. Sir. All right, so Tom Lee agrees with Dr. K. Smith and says that they would have the ocean level is three inches higher than it was with Hurricane Nancy hit them, and that in 10 years the water could rise even more, which means they will have even worse flooding during the storm. So he is on board with Dr. K. Smith. Now let's see, we have two residents that are going to give us their opinions. One of them is named John Garcia, and then we have one that's a shop owner in Surf Haven. So we'll see how their opinions are similar or different to what we've already read. Surf Haven resident John Garcia gave other reasons for making a nature preserve. Before the storm, the boardwalk was crowded there was traffic and noise night and day. What people need is a beautiful sandy beach and wildlife. We should build a nature preserve. We can all enjoy its quiet beauty. So John Garcia is with Tom Lee and Dr. K. Smith saying that they should build a nature reserve. 
And then it would give people, it would be less crowded and less noisy, but it would give people a beautiful sandy beach and wildlife. All right, so he's on board with that. Now, let's see what this shop owner has to say. Shop owner Phil Pippin objected. Easy for you to say. You don't work at the boardwalk. My shop has been there for 50 years. I have 10 employees who need a paycheck. What will they do? What will their families do? How many families will have to move away if they can't find work? So now this shop owner, since this is his business, his livelihood, his employees, he's saying that his shop has been there for 50 years and he has 10 employees who need a paycheck. So he is objecting to the nature preserve and he's saying my shop has been there for 50 years. Why, what would they do if it weren't there? Whew, very heated. So what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to read some editorials, is what they're called, about people's opinions, and those help people make the decision. So before we end our lesson, on page 33, we're going to not write a main idea, but we're just going to write the different points of view. So we know that from page 31, that... Mayor Jan Brill, Matt Fenton, I think he was a councilman. Is that right? Yeah, town councilman. Ah. Councilman Matt Fenton and shop owner. Phil Pippin believe that the Tapat Surf Haven should rebuild at the boardwalk. Now, if you have room on this side, you can continue writing. I'm going to go to the other side just so I have a little bit more room. And we're going to write pretty much the opposite about what the others are saying. If you need to pause the video and finish writing on page 33, go ahead. But then we know Dr. K. Smith from the Climate Study Group. Local weather expert Tom Lee and surf haven resident John Garcia believe that they should turn the boardwalk into a nature preserve. I'll move it down in just a second. There we go. All right, so go ahead and write those two long sentences down. And then, like I said, tomorrow we will read the opinions that people are writing into the newspaper. That is all for our lesson, friends. Great job. We'll see you later.